How can we create our own perfect playing field? How does it look like? How can we, how can we create a setting where all the parts of the system interplay perfectly with each other and we work a lot and we love it, we enjoy it. It doesn't feel like work, it feels like effortless creation. Beautifully decorated kitchen <laughs> and I'm preparing today's barbecue for our custodian Brunars. Looking forward to this day. <laughs> Alright, everything is ready. <laughs> Our vehicle for today is called Annabelle Sophie. Annabelle Sophie is prepared to set sail towards Uruvatu Bali. <laughs> <laughs> All right, waiting for our custodia printers, and then we're gonna head out mm. to an epic adventure. the lakes of Berlin. Look at that. Look at that. The sun is coming out slowly. Looking forward to this day. The group that I'm with here is the, the online group coaching program I'm currently hosting, Custodiapreneurs. Integral entrepreneurship for a more beautiful world. Like all of the people are impact driven, heart driven, human beings who are creating projects that are contributing to the world that we want to live in. Great people. Supporting those guys for a month now. Two more months are coming. Three month program in total. And right now, one week, a uh, one day of in-person immersion here in beautiful Berlin is awaiting us. Excited. <laughs> What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. With our custodia preneurs on the water, barbecue, good conversations, sun. Just nice. Yeah, I want to share a story that I shared with the group about Ari. Ari is a, a young guy whom I met in Bali a couple of days ago. He's a barber. He cut my hair and my beard. And Ari told me the story of how he, last year, was employed at a barber shop. And then he was just before the birth of his uh, child and said to his boss, I need a couple of days off because I, I want to be um, I want to participate in the birth and I want to be there in the first days for my family and his boss said no 
no, you cannot do that. There are clients, you need to earn money. You cannot, you cannot have days off. And then he said, okay, then I'm gonna quit. And he quit his job in order to be with his family, even though he didn't knew where like, he will earn money from. And then after this little family bubble, um, he did home visits for past clients, people with whom he already built a relationship in order to earn some money, but was just like getting by. And then he met one guy and he was an investor. And he said, like Ari, like you're so talented. You want to open your own barbershop? And Ari, Ari said, yeah, I want to do that, but I don't have any money for that. And this guy said, like, here's money. I want to invest in you. I want to see you opening your own barbershop and I give you the money for that. And three months later, his own barbershop opened and he expanded. He hired other barbers, but not like random barbers, but guys from from his home, um, his place where he, where, he, where he grew up in Sumatra, um, in the west of the Indonesian islands. And he hired his cousin, his best friend, and he brought all of them to Bali too and offered them the opportunity to work there and to earn some money, which is difficult and, and where he's coming from. <clears throat> and since it's, it's his own barbershop, he can spend time with his family whenever he wants. Hmm. And soon, in a couple of months, he will open his second barbershop. And he's really thriving. He's a young guy, only 25 years old. And he really made it happen. And most importantly, he's doing all of that with a sense of ease and effortlessness. He, like, he radiated positivity, good mood. Like, the, the energy in his barbershop with, with like, with all the with all the people working there it was so good they were making jokes and having a good time and he said like yeah, I'm working every day I'm working seven hours as I'm working seven days a week right now and I love it I have a great time and he's really like killing it <sighs> and this guy Ari he's a beautiful example of how we are invited to create our own perfect playing field with all the components that are important for us. Utilizing all our skills, all our talents and really create something very unique. And this shows us how all the parts of the system are interlinked. All of that wouldn't be possible if he wouldn't be running his own barbershop. All of that wouldn't be possible if he wouldn't work with his best friends from his hometown. All of this wouldn't be possible like with his passion for working as a barber and at the same time his entrepreneurial skill and his ability to take risks and to really yeah be courageous and make those bold steps like all of that is important and now he created a se setting for him where he's thriving fully he's breaking he's bringing tangible value to other people and it's really working for him and this is what we are invited to do so. This is what we explored over the day. How can we really create our own perfect playing field where we are working a lot because we love it. And that's the question that we explored today. How can we create our own perfect playing field? How does it look like? How can we, how can we create a setting where all the parts of the system interplay perfectly with each other and we work a lot and we love it, we enjoy it? It doesn't feel like work. It feels like effortless creation. Like it's just, it gets created through us. And we are just almost like surprised by what is the outcome. <laughs> and like, oh, I just opened my own barbershop. Oh, and there's a second one. Oh, and I'm working with all my friends. And oh, I have space and time for my family. Oh, oh wow, it's just there. Like when we are not thinking, when we are just allowing to happen and from a place of surrender and at the same time like powerful inspired action when the right moment is there yeah beautiful day beautiful day grateful for this group great people really great people <sighs> all right
already quite late. My alarm will go off <laughs> in a couple of hours and then we're heading to Poland. Custodia is starting. So beautiful. Just had a very nice family dinner with my dad, with Ania's wife and with my grandma. And of course we talked about grandma coming to Bali. And right before she went to sleep just now she said Robert, I want to be with Leo, I want to care for him, I want to be there for him and at the same time it's a big step, I'm not feeling fully fully recovered, um, so yeah, <coughs> we're gonna have a conversation on the next couple of days, but I sense her willingness to come back to Bali with us, she already stayed with us for six months and it would be so beautiful to fly back home in two weeks bringing her to Bali with me and I shared that with you in yesterday's episode bringing my mom to Bali too with the two of them sitting in the airplane heading home in two weeks this would be a beautiful gift let's manifest this all right that's it for today See you tomorrow.